Nate Williams, we got another Acer Nitro 50 video for you. This is going to be quick and sweet and to the point. We are going to be doing an RTX 3060 GPU upgrade. This is a GPU that I would put in here right now that's available. All right, go ahead and power your system down. Move some of this stuff out of my way. I like to leave the power plugged in because it allows you to ground your system. But go ahead and unplug your HDMI and any other cables that are plugged in. And we are gonna come here and we have our door that we need to open, but first we need to grab our iFixit kit, grab ourselves a number Phillips, number two. And we have two screws back here that need to be removed. Number one. And number two. Remember all the screws that need to be removed, pop your door open. Of course, take our little GPU holder off and down in the bottom right here, click it open. GPU is now unlocked. Go ahead and pull straight back. That is our GPU undone. Now we need to come here and we need to grab our power wires right here that we're hidden. Go ahead and grab our RTX 3060. Make sure everything's taken off here like these plugs, any wrappings, you want to take that all off. Go ahead and now slide around home. Get her nice and aligned. Make sure the PCI slots aligned. Come on, baby, you want to go in there. There we go. Send her on home, close your door. Come to the rear right here, replace both screws. And go ahead and grab your eight pin. And this plug's gonna be towards the bottom. Snap this guy together. Push it on home. Of course, put tuck her cable down in here so it's up and out of the way. That is the GPU upgrade done in a nutshell. All right, guys, I'm going to roll a benchmark here in a second. Let me get it rocking and rolling, and then we'll show you what uh, the difference from stock to this is. All right, guys, we got the benchmark results in, and we got done, and we ran a TimeSpy DirectX 12 benchmark. And with the RTX 3060, we scored 8,291. Our CPU score was 7,568, and our graphics score was 8,435. You're going to be looking at about 80 frames in Battlefield 5, Apex Legends, 95, GTA 5, 50, uh, Fortnite, 90, and of course Red Dead Redemption, 30 plus. That's 1440p Ultra. Our first uh, graphics test score was 55.49. Our second was 47.96. And of course our CPU FPS score doesn't really matter because that's not what we're doing in this video. All right, guys, I'm going to say that uh, this is the upgrade you're going to want to do to your Acer. It's also going to cool your graphics card down because you're going to have dual fans. So you're going to get better cooling. I don't have the video out on this heatsink, but if you want to see that, this significantly improves the cooling on this processor. Um, the other thing, I'm just going to give you guys a little hint and you watch my cooling video, but doing this will also help. Other than that, guys, this was a Tech Nitwit Productions. I'm Tech Nitwit. I hope you guys like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, go ahead, and if you dislike, dislike. Just at least tell me why you disliked. And, uh, yeah, I'm out, y'all.